All right, we're gonna get started again with uh, some payload CMS and Next.js. Uh, this time, hopefully there's music playing. So if uh, there's not, please let me know because uh, I did a whole live stream, I think it was last week where there was no music. So I'm looking, trying to figure out where we left off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the screen. And then, yep, so I can see that we have our to-do, and I have a couple of to-dos here. Plain text converter, don't wanna do that right now. Conditional rendering, don't wanna do that yet. Or create a readme, don't wanna do any of that. So let's go back to blocks, content with media. I want to use an image component here, which I am. I am. So we now have the um, content with media. So when there's an image in the background, it's now not a background image. It is an actual image object. That's something we did last time. Then we can go to FAQs. Um, this error here, I think I need to leave it because what's happening is that it's saying that the input L element is uh, possibly null. So that's telling me, well, honestly, I know this because it starts with this value here, which is taken from here. So the value is null starting off, but I don't really have a way around that. So we're just gonna ignore it and hopefully it doesn't fail anything on build, which it shouldn't. Then um, there's a bunch of errors going on here. I wonder what those are. We'll come back to that, but we're gonna stick with the to-dos. We'll come back to the FAQs. Well, why don't we just take a look at the front end here real quick. So I'm gonna to go to terminal and the project that's up right now is actually not what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna do pnvm dev and have this go and load up the front end that we've been working on. All right, so there it is. So we've got our content with media and then let's make sure that the summary feed looks fine because I remember I had a note on that one to take a look at. We did indeed, perfect. So that one is good to go. Table of contents, I believe I took care of this as well. So oh, I didn't make them into components, but I don't need to, that's taken care of. There we go. Oh Lord, so many to-dos. Those primary and secondary buttons now have components. I do wanna add a loading button, or really not a loading button, don't really need to do that, but we'll want to um, have loading states for some other objects here. So we're gonna need to take care of the CTA here because when we actually have a contact page, the color is going to disappear. It's gonna blend in with the contact. So we may change what color we use there. That's not the end of the world. Oh, I remember one thing that we wanted to do is if I go to the FAQ section right now, the, um, the, board, the boundaries here just feel a little tight to me. So I wanna open that up a little bit so I'm just going to add probably 20 to the offset height here, which should, on refresh, add a little bit more space there. I could do 40, which is what it was originally before I deleted all of my Tailwind styles, um, which does make it feel like it has a little bit more room to breathe, but I think 20 is fine here. Cool. So there's that. So our FAQ items are good. Perfect, all right, so let's start with the footer. So we're gonna come up to this footer here. Select the index and really everything that's in here uh, should be deleted because there's a lot of old junk in there. I'm even gonna get rid of this here. This is a lot in there that we don't need. So we'll come over to the footer and then we're going to export a function footer. And I think this is actually gonna be an async function because it's gonna take um, a global from a payload. But for now, we're just going to return 
um, a section container that is going to have a content container. Oof. There we go. Which I'm just going to add an H, H2 just to say hello. And then we'll go to our layout, wherever that is. Layout. Re enable the footer here, but I don't have it as a default anymore. So I need to make it in. Um, I don't even remember what this is called. So there's default and oh, a named export. So set it as a named export. And then if I re or if I save and I scroll all the way down, we should get a footer. It just says hello there down at the bottom. All right, so that's a good sign. But obviously, we don't want the footer to be the same color as everything else. So we're going to use the section container class name. We'll do classes dot uh, footer section. And we're going to need to come back up to the footer because we have the well first import classes from that. And then we're going to go into here and do footer section. And we're going to do a background color of dark primary. So that's going to make the hello disappear. But that's OK. We don't need to see that anymore. All right, so now what we need to do is come here. And we're going to log in because I've got some globals. And I need to know what the global is in order for me to, um, will this let me log in? I don't want to save that because it's very easy. And really, this nav is so simple that we may just use this as the same request. So let's go up to our nav, or I guess down to where we would check our navs. So we're going to get this. We do our footer. We're going to get our navigation in. And then we're going to let's just log the response for now so we can see what that looks like. Um, I have an idea of what it's going to look like, but mm, there it is. So there's a couple things that I want to do here. The first is that if it is just a regular link, so anything that's not no link, will be a link to somewhere else. If it's a no link, then we will use that as like a header and then have all of its nested links rendered on the front end. So there are a couple things that we want to do here. So first, we want to um, loop through all links to see if they are links. If they are a link render as such on the front end. Internal is link. External, if I could spell, is um, a tag. If they are not a link, render as a header and nest links under header. So. First, we can do the easy part where we're going to have our response. So here we'll come, we'll say um, response.navigationlink.map, and we'll do link. And then we'll just for now return a link.link type. And then, of course, we need to include our key, which we can do link.id. So if I come here, uh, we'll also need to, um, I wonder if I can do this at this level and do color. Uh, let's just do white for now. That's fine. So we'll do nest it so that we can see everything. All right. So we can see we have internal, external, no link, and external times two again. So we come down to the footer. I'm overthinking the heck out of this. So what we need to do is just a um, link dot link type is equal to internal 
Then we return a link with an href of link dot, I guess link is what it is. Come back to that in just a second. And then we'll do link, link for href. I don't think there's actually anything else I needed to add here, but let's just double check. Roll on, click, type up title. No, nothing really to add, okay. So we see that this is not assignable to URL. So that means I'm reading this data wrong. So when I have an internal, I have a link relation to pages. So I actually need to do a link dot link dot value dot slug. But I need to check type of link dot link does not equal string and that and I think I need my e to add dot value type undefined um, so it's either that or really so let's see if any of that worked so failed to compile for this okay oh I need to add just do this for now so the one internal should render which you see there at the bottom, it's a link that says home. So a lot of type checks just to get to that. No biggie. All right, so now if I refresh, hopefully. Yep, so now I'm looking down there at the very bottom, which might be hard for you to see, but you can see the local host 3000 there at the bottom, meaning that my excessive checking worked. So I'm gonna go ahead and start breaking this down a little bit because I want this to be a little bit easier to read as we get into more of the ternaries here. So we have our link dot link type equals internal, and then we have our proper rendering there at the at the bottom there. So now we need to do link dot link type is equal to external. And so if it is, then we need to return an a href with a link dot link should be enough for this one. And then link, whoop, we need to do this link dot name and let's actually change. Just get rid of those errors real quick. Um, string. I need to think about that here in a second too. All right, so let's see what we have here. Link, link type equals external. Well, so here we need another type check. So type of link. Let's see if we can do this a different way real quick. So I need this to be link dot link dot value dot name. So let's do type of link dot link dot value does not equal string and that okay so name isn't the right field is it title it is title all right so now we have href which we have external should not have any of the relation to fields. Okay, so it's link dot external link, which makes sense. So now if I do this, we should see, oh, did it for me already. So we have our home, our portfolio, our about and contact. And so really what we'll end up doing is for any of these external links, they'll become internal links anyway, but that should be taken care of there. Now, the interesting one in my opinion is we're gonna come down here and if it is not that, we'll need to do a no link, which should be, we'll say it's a paragraph, and all we're gonna do is link dot name. And when we do that, we should see industries pop up. Um, it does break the flow though, because I'm using um, something that's not in line though. So if we do span, that should put it back in line. And so here though, what we need to do is have the nested links come into play. So what we'll end up doing 
is probably changing this to a div, have this be a paragraph, and then under that paragraph, we will have our link dot nested links dot map. And so we're going to map over these again and do a lot of the same stuff here. So we're going to do, just so we can see what this is going to look like, we can do p, we'll do a link dot name. Oh, shoot, nested links. I think it's dot navigation. All right, so we're going to have to actually look at what this field looks like. So we come back up here, and we're just going to do a log. We're going to do a response. We do a navigation link. Um, if we look here, we have one, two, three. So it's at index two. We'll have navigation link. Then we'll have nested links. And then we should be able to look, see what that looks like. Let me scroll down. And here are our nested links. So yes, we have in our nested link, all right, weird. So link nested links, which then is a, an array again. So, but I think we can actually just do a zero there. I think we have to do Oh, not a map. I don't want to do a map there. So from there, we'll do navigation link and map that, which then we need to do that. Let's just finish this out real quick. Do, P. do a paragraph tag here, hit it with that. So we have two links there. link and we should be able to do name. And then we have our industries. We still have this though. I need to remember how to do this. Yeah, so that's wrong. I remember seeing a way to do it this way. Is that right? Yes, perfect, okay. So now we have our div with our nested link. So let's set some classes here real quick. First, we need to check this up here. So there's a there's a little bit going on here. So if we do link dot link type is equal to internal, then and honestly, I'm just going to copy and paste all of this. Um, because this is going to be the same, it's just nested now. So we'll take that and hit that. And then let's see what I broke. Everything. So then if it's that, then it should be blank. So now if we do this, we have Everything linked, that's industry, small business, industries, real estate. We have our contact or about our industries, which is unclickable, and our home and our portfolio. So long-winded way of doing this nested link thing. So we can get rid of that. We're, we looped through all links to see if they are links. So great, did that. If they are a link, render as such on the front end. We have our internal rendering as a link, like a next link. Then we have our external as a regular a tag, and then if they're not a link, render as a header and nest links under the header. So now that all of that is done, we can run through here and do some styling.